Hello everyone, it's Ego. Today we'll be going through a basic breakdown of the Restoration Druid in Wrath Classic. Now this guide is perfect for getting you started, but if you're looking for more in-depth, specific information, I'll leave a link to the class discord in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. So here are the topics we'll be going through in this video. We'll be looking at talents, we're going to look at professions, stat priority, gearing, gems and enchants, consumables, rotation, and finishing it off with weak auras, add-ons, and macros. Let's start with the talent builds. This will be your cookie cutter restoration talent build where you pick up some key talents for more single target healing like Empowered Touch, Natural Perfection, and Living Seed. This build is great for when there's fewer healers in your party such as 10 mans or dungeons. However, you're still able to do raid healing in 25 mans. The glyphs for this build will be Wild Growth, Swift Mend, and Rapid Rejuvenation, though you could swap that last glyph for Nourish. The next build though is ideal for raid wide heals through Rejuvenation. The talent build here grabs talents like Celestial Focus to increase your spell haste, which when paired with the glyph of Rapid Rejuvenation, gives you amazing raid wide healing potential by blanketing Rejuvenation on your raid members. For this build, you lose out on some single target healing potential, of course, because you're swapping out of those points you would otherwise put into Empowered Touch, Living Seed, and Natural Perfection. For your glyphs in this build, you'll be running again the Wild Growth and Swiftman glyphs alongside Rapid Rejuvenation. For professions, we're keeping it simple by picking up Engineering because it's just too powerful in Wrath of the Lich King to pass up. We'll be getting Hyperspeed Accelerators on our gloves and Nitro Boots along with other gadgets we can use. Then we'll be picking up Tailoring as our secondary profession for the Light Weave Embroidery Cloak Enchant that is specific to Tailors. Now looking at the stat priority for Resto Druids, the priority list will be as follows. You'll want to stack as much haste as you can to reduce the cast time of your spells and of course reducing your global cooldown, or GCD if you want to call it that. That's primarily what you're after when we're looking for haste in this case. We want to bring our GCD downs to be able to apply rejuvenation to targets faster and more frequently. Next, we move into Spell Power, which is self-explanatory. It'll increase the power of your heals. Then we're looking at Spirit, which is crucial for Resto Druids because we have two key talents that work off Spirit. Those two being Intensity, which lets us regenerate mana during combat, and then of course the Improved Tree of Life talent, which will increase our healing from our Spirit. Next is Critical Strike, which will help with Nourish Crits that will proc Living Seed if you're talented into that, though this is not a stat you'll be chasing. Then to finish it off, you'll be going after Intellect. For gearing, gems, and enchants, I recommend using an amazing add-on called Loon Best in Slot, which will give you lists of the best in-slot gear for each phase, for each class, and spec. This add-on has been a huge quality of life improvement, and I highly recommend you get it. For consumables, as a Resto Druid, you'll want to be always having a flask active during your encounters, the flask of choice being the Frostworm Flask, which will give you a spell power increase. Then for food, you'll want fish feasts. If you don't have a feast available to you, be sure to have some firecracker salmon on hand. In regards to potions, you'll want to use runic mana potions, and then you'll want either potions of wild magic or speed. Now there's two rotations that I know of for the Resto Druid in Wrath. First being of course your standard raid healing, which goes as follows. Ensure you're always casting wild growth on cooldown, always be applying rejuvenation to all your raid members, and keep regrowth active on tanks, or anyone who will be taking some extra damage. A couple abilities to take note of is Swift Men when you need a quick healing burst, Life Bloom when you get Omen of Clarity procs, which will also give you some mana back, nourish targets who need some direct healing, and then use Nature Swiftness with a healing touch in a dire situation. For a more tank healing focused rotation, a lot of it stays the same. You'll want to use Wild Growth again, you'll want to keep Rejuvenation, and regrowth up and also three stacks of life bloom. From there, the same deal you'll nourish when you have to, use Swiftman and Nature Swiftness when needed. For weak auras, macros, add-ons, and more, I've created a list that I continue to update with the best add-ons, macros, and weak auras I can find in my Warcraft journey so far. If you'd like to get access to this list, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, which is free to do, and then head over to the channel homepage. From there, you'll see the sub-only video, Click on it, go to the description, you'll have access to a bunch of exclusive sub-only content. That'll be it for the guide everyone. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, you're an absolute legend. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, and be sure to also subscribe to the channel for more Warcraft content. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.